Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here, and today I'm going to be going over Star Wars Battlefront's new card system, and what the cards actually do in the game. So to start off, DICE has ditched the battlefield ideas of having predefined class based loadouts, and has opted for a more open system, giving everyone a choice to pick and choose their own gadgets and abilities, through the star card system. Instead of having specific slots for gadgets, grenades, perks and other things to make up your loadout, Battlefront is basically combining all of these things and slapping them all into one category, giving you a deck of cards to pick from. Players can essentially choose up to three cards to use on the loadouts, or hands should I say, and these allow the usage of Star Wars equipment like thermal detonators, personal shields, cycler rifles and so on. There's three slots available for three cards, the left and right slots and the one in the middle. Although you can select and add cards to any of these slots, some cards can only be allocated to specific slots. For example, the Thermal Detonator card can only be added to either the left or right slots. But the middle slot is reserved for other cards that can only be placed here, like the Personal Shield. The left and right slots can be used as many times as you want in a match. They're pretty much unlimited, although after using a card, you will have to wait for a little bit just before you can use that one again. So you can't just keep spamming the same gadget or ability, and the cards will have to recharge before they can be reused. The middle card slot is reserved for other specific cards that also recharge, but have a limited amount of times you can use them in a match. This is indicated by the little number in the corner of the card itself. You can stock up on more than one of these by running through specific power-ups that you can find dotted around on the map. Last up is the trait cards, which kind of play out a little bit like kill streaks. These are separate from your free cards and act more like perks that can help you out, giving you bonus attributes. An example of this is the Sharpshooter trait, which reduces cooldown timers by achieving a number of headshots. Traits also have three levels that can be reached depending on how many times you can complete the requirement without dying. So in this case, you can get to level 2 by getting more headshots, and 3 for getting even more headshots in one life, giving you a huge cooldown boost for each headshot. Though if you die, you'll go back down by one level. Though whenever you start a match, you'll always start on level 1. There isn't a level 0, and you'll always have a slight boost to your attributes depending on what trait you've picked. So to get cards and traits, you'll first need to level up your overall rank. Certain ranks unlock certain cards, similar to how you'd unlock stuff in other games. Once you've managed to reach the required rank, you'll then have to buy the cards with your in-game Star Wars money, and then you'll be able to equip the card or trait onto your loadout. When buying the cards, there's a few different icons that you can see that'll give you more information about what the card is, and where it can be selected on your class. Cards that show this icon mean that it can be equipped as a left or right card, and this means that you can use them as many times as you want throughout a match. The middle cards are shown with this icon, and last of all, the trait cards will have this image next to them. It might be obvious what the cards are, but if you're not entirely sure which card you're about to buy, use these icons to help you decide, as you can only carry three cards and one trait card around with you in a match, so make sure you choose them wisely. Anyway guys, that's all I've got to say in this guide for now, so hit that like button if it helps you out, and subscribe to see loads more Battlefront content in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.